If I said I watched Phineas and Ferb regularly, and was a fan of their antics, I'd be a terrible liar. In fact, at best it could be said that I knew the show existed, that it was produced by Disney, and it has a platypus in it. Where's My Perry revolves around said mammalian secret agent, as he finds himself stuck in the complex tube system used to deposit him at his secret headquarters. It's up to you to power up the shutdown system to get him back in action. Before we go any further, you may be thinking, by the way Andrew, this is a ripoff of Where's My Water? I'd then calmly point out that this is indeed not only the same publisher, but the same developer. So at best, Perry could be considered the spiritual sequel of sorts, especially as it focuses on new puzzle mechanics without overlapping much with the original. You'll need to dig trenches with a swipe to direct the flow of water in its various states, be it gaseous, liquid or solid. Heat and cool lasers, or innators as they should be called apparently, provide a direct means to transform the water, though later levels introduce an ooze that can be superheated and super cool to provide the same effect. Ultimately, this provides a familiar but very different way to think about levels and how to solve them. Much like Where's My Water, there's not a lot of challenge in mastering these concepts, but it remains addictive all the same, handing out miniature Eureka moments time and time again. Crossovers with Swampy's adventures are promised in the future, and those who own the original title can attest to the constant, substantial additions to the content already available, so we can expect much the same here. While it would have been great to see the developer show more of a creative backbone in creating Where's My Perry, it's still a great way to burn up an afternoon or two if you love Where's My Water and Phineas and Ferb. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.